everybody, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kit. Today I'm going to be doing a video which is a beginner's colouring kit. So basically everything you will need and it's just for £25. So I thought this was really important because I have another video coming which I'm going to be doing soon which is a beginner's guide to colouring. So um, how I blend, how I shade, where to put the shadows, I had to layer and things like that, um, just personally how I do it, but I thought it would be quite useful to know if you wanted to start colouring tomorrow, if you wanted to go out and buy things today, what would you need to get? Um, so this is obviously £25 and then you just you would just then put it into your currency. Um, so first, you're obviously going to need something to colour on so you're going to need a book and for me personally I know some people might not like her books but I would always go for a Joanna Bassford book so in the UK there is a shop called The Works and it's basically a store where you can buy stationery and um, various items and things um, that are quite cheap so at The Works I think it's mainly Lost Ocean, Enchanted Forest and Secret Garden. This is Enchanted Forest, so I just don't have the cover on it. They are roughly, they're £5. They're always £5 there. And then roughly on Amazon, they can be, or Book Depository, they can be kind of £7 or £8. So if we're going in between that, say each book is roughly 6 50 Now, if you think about it, this book has really high quality paper. Yes, it's slightly creamy it's not a white but that doesn't matter too much um but you're getting beautiful illustrations really thick paper um of a different amount of difficult um you know precise designs and then things with bigger spaces and if you think about a create space paper book for example they're what about three or four pounds maybe on amazon i don't have too many so i'm not sure but if you compare that um yes you're still getting beautiful illustrations but for the paper um it's obviously a lot thinner and you only have to pay a couple more pounds if you know where to go um to get the lovely thick paper and more illustrations as well so for me, a Joanna Bassard book or a Millie Marotta book or anything of a similar price, it's about six fifty. I would always go for one of these. Um, so that is the book. Now you're obviously going to need something to use to colour on your book. For beginners and as a starter set, I would recommend the Faber Castell Classics. Now this is the sixty set. This is the highest um, like amount that you can get, and. They are basically the student quality um, brand for Faber-Castell. So it's usually what, um, I don't know, they, they would recommend children taking to school or something. I don't really agree with that. I think they're much better than student quality and they're really, really cheap as well. So for a 60 set, they're going at about £12.40. So um, at the moment, we're on about £19. So... The reason I picked these was because you're getting 60 beautiful colours, they have a smooth lay down, they are gorgeous to use and I use them a lot and I know because I've got the Crayolas as well and I absolutely love them and I know you're getting 100 colours for that but sometimes if you have a huge set like that as a beginner it can kind of overwhelm you a bit so I think 60 is quite a good price um sorry not price um like midpoint of how many pencils you're getting because obviously you can get sets that are about 150 pencils and then the more smaller sets that have kind of 24 so you want enough colors that um you can color a picture just with that one set um and you can play around with them a bit but you don't want too many that you're overwhelmed so um I just think these are absolutely perfect for beginners and they are a hexagonal barrel let me get one to show you they have a hexagonal barrel with classic color faber costel they all have numbers so you don't have to get confused between them they don't have color names but they always have the number you could even write your own name in if you wanted to um but they are lovely and 
I have been using them constantly. So I would really, really recommend these. And when you buy them, let me open it for you. And you can get these on Amazon. Everything here you can get on Amazon. When you buy them, all of the pencils come in this um, concertina thing. So you get all the pencils in these um, little pocket things, um, which is really nice storage. So if you don't have a pencil case to put any of your pencils in, you can just put this on your desk and you've got all the pencils there ready for you. So that's a great way to have them when you when you buy them and then if you get into colouring more and you want to buy a case then that would be my ideal um, suggestion if you if you're really enjoying colouring because it keeps them safe and it means that you don't have any risk of them breaking when you're moving them around so we are on 19 pounds currently roughly yeah and um, the next thing is a rubber now I have picked a perfection Faber Castell rubber pencil the reason I've done this and I know some people may think that this is quite fancy but the reason I've done this is because you could just use a standard big rubber yeah you, you could just um, use a rubber like this but the problem with this is that it's not good for small areas and then on the other hand you have something like a Derwent battery eraser or a mono eraser that obviously more expensive oops i've just dropped a pencil down the side of my desk um they're more expensive but they're the same sort of idea and you only really need to get those if you are like more into coloring and you want more things um but this is great because it's cheap and it can get into really small areas you can sharpen it and it's just perfect. Now, the only thing is, is that technically you could have this as a £25 budget or a £30. Now, the thing is, you have to either, you can get them singularly at art shops and things like that, but commonly they come in a pack of two. So if you were to just um, buy the two, it would be roughly about £4, um, but then one is about £2. So I'm classing this as £2, but if you're buying two, it's four. So... Yeah, this is roughly £2 added to our 19 already, so that's about um, 21 roughly. So then we have a sharpener. So you need a bog standard sharpener. You don't really need to worry about it being, you know, a really, really, really good quality one, like a Tagal or something like that, or um, a, uh, what's it called? I cannot remember. Well, the uh, the other really expensive ones, but I can't remember what it's called. Um, but anyway, this is really all you need for a beginner because you can use the big hole and the small hole. And I know, obviously, I mean, classics sharpen really well, but I know people have trouble with pencils if you don't have a very good sharpener. I find these are perfect to start out with, and then you only then should invest in a more expensive sharpener when you're, you know, when, when you really like colouring. Um, but I used these right at the beginning and I didn't really have any trouble. As long as you are careful, it should be fine. So they're, what, like one pound, depending. Um, and then the last thing I've got, which technically only makes it to about 24, but it's roughly 25 pounds, depending, is a blender pencil. Now, I know some people go against having a blender pencil as a beginner's item, but in my opinion, um, a blender pencil, if you use it properly, it can really benefit you at the beginning of your colouring because it does blend the colours together. I know it kind of lifts a bit of it, but um, it just kind of blends it more as you're a beginner and then as you start developing your colouring you may decide that you don't need it and you just want to colour normally without one which is absolutely fine but I think these are great for um, you know beginning your blending and things like that I started off with one of these and I've never looked back I love them now these again come in a pack of two so it would roughly be about four pounds for two but one would be about two pounds so um, 
you can say it either way. You could either say it's £25 with two blenders and two rubber pencils or, um, sorry, £25 with one rubber pencil and one blender or £30 with two of each, whatever. But you're still getting the same materials. So that is the standard uh, £25 budget that I would that I would um, use. That's what I would get personally for me. If you want to spend a little bit of extra money, not much, but if you want to get a couple of extra things, they're not essential. These are kind of the essential things, but these two extra things you can also get. And if you were to buy them individually on Amazon or something, this would probably be, what, about another five pounds for you? Um, so this is a Uniball Signo white gel pen. I know there are many other white gel pens, so you could use a jelly roll or um, what's the um, other one? Oh yeah, Susan was telling me about a another white gel pen. I think it's a oh no, no, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name. It's um, in one of the comments of my videos, but um, I was looking into that and it looks great. But basically, any white gel pen will do to begin with. Um, so that is a highlighting thing that you can use over your uh, pages if when you're beginning you do want to be a bit fancy with them. Alternatively you could use a Jelly Roll Glitter Stardust pen which is glittery so it's clear and it goes over any of your colouring that you've already done and it keeps the colour. So if you've coloured something green and you go over with this it will just be sparkly green. So they're kind of the, the fancy things that you can get on the side but this is kind of my kit that I would have for a beginner colourist. So I hope this has helped you decide maybe if you haven't started colouring yet but you would like to, um, maybe this has given you a few ideas or if you have been colouring for a while and you haven't got any of these things then maybe that's given you a couple of ideas too. But um, yeah I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and I mean I was I was a beginner once and I did have the 24 set of the Faber Castell classics and I don't think that was really enough for me for a beginner but they they did the trick um when I was about 8 um for you know just just coloring um but I think the the larger set does benefit you and it's not much more expensive to be honest the metal tin of the 24 set was more than the 60 set in this cardboard box so uh, it's really your decision but um, I hope this has helped you out and I will see you in my next video on colouring kids so bye everyone